what's going on you guys? I, I shot this video just a moment ago, but I forgot to plug the thing in. And now I'm shooting it again. We just got back <laughs> from Overland Expo West. We had a great time. If this is your first time here, my name is Michael. I make mistakes so you can learn from them. <laughs> and our worldwide community of vehicle dependent adventure travelers wants to help you have the epic adventure of your life. Outfit a rig, get out there, have an adventure in the great outdoors with yourself, by yourself, or with your family, with a group. Adventure is necessary. And we are not brought to you by Wix or Squarespace. We are brought to you by Overland Bound and our community and our app. Overland Bound One, which combines a worldwide support community with awesome mapping and navigation software and destinations for you to discover, all entered by our community. All right, let's get right to it. Hey guys, I'm here with Spencer from Bliss Mobile. Spencer, I did a quick video, well it was actually a pretty long video, with the Bliss Mobile Habitat a few years ago. Yeah. You guys are here again. There's so many new people that want to know about the epic nature of a rig like this. Sure. Maybe you can break it down for us. What, yeah. uh, give us a summary about this thing. Yeah, so this is our 15 foot unit. Yeah. We build anywhere from 11 foot to 23 foot. So we have a nice wide range of sizes for whatever the customer wants and wants right. to use in a certain territory around the world, African safari, larger units, or getting back into the, further into the back country with smaller units. So right on. We really want to tailor to everyone's lifestyle with that wide range of sizes. Yep. And also that cost range as well, because everyone's thinking about cost and how to get uh -huh. into an expedition vehicle, and we have lower ranges for that or the top end if you want to go all out and have the toys with you and right. travel with the family. So, <laughs> Very cool. I know you guys, you, you specialize in the habitat itself. And Correct. We'll, we'll go inside, you guys. This thing is amazing. We'll show you the inside. Um, tell me about the relationship between the vehicle and the Bliss Mobile habitat. Do you also outfit a vehicle or can a customer say, hey, I want this Bliss Mobile habitat on my platform or, mm -hmm. or get the platform for, from you. How does that work? How does the build process work for sure. a customer? So we build the entire camping unit yep. and we do accessories as well. So we work with the customer. Um, they usually come with two or three options of chassis that they're interested in. Okay. And we'll give them uh, ideas and kind of guide them through the process of what chassis would work best for their unit. Got once it. they pick the unit. Right. And then once that chassis is chosen, we have accessories for the chassis as well. So on this Mercedes, we do the roof rack, uh -huh. we do some lighting, some basic stuff like that. Got it. And then also for the unit, we build the subframe, motorcycle racks, uh, storage boxes underneath off the frame and the subframe. Um, so we do a lot of stuff on the outside as well. If somebody comes to Bliss Mobile and says, I don't want to think about it. Tell me when it's done and I just want to drive it. Can they do that with you guys? Yes. Okay, yes. got it. Yeah. I know some people, that's that's their thing. They're like, this is what I want. Yep. And tell me when it's done. Yep. Yeah, so if they come to us and they say, I want a six by six truck, what do you recommend? Yep. Per the size unit, we'll give them a recommendation. They say, let's go with it. Yep. They place the truck order, we'll get the unit in process. And we usually ask that the truck is shipped about a month beforehand, uh -huh. just so we can prep the truck and have it ready for the actual marriage of the unit. Right on. Hey, why don't we go inside and check out the interior of this awesome unit? All right, sounds okay. good. Cool. This is so nice that I'm nervous to have my grubbiness in here. <laughs> this is super nice. And the other thing that you guys might not be able to, to sense from where you're watching is the temperature. Mm -hmm. It, it, I mean, it is cool. We walked in, it's what, 80 degrees outside or whatever. It's already and, getting warm this morning, for and, sure. And in here, it's cool. And just off camera, you were telling me you haven't run the AC yet. All weekend. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, it really says something about the ventilation of the unit itself. Uh -huh. um, we do have AC as standard in the unit. So yep. if you're in Death Valley and it's super hot, mm -hmm. of course, keeping the shades closed and keeping it ventilated while running the AC is going to help a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but in these temps and in, in flag here, we haven't needed to run it at all this weekend and just have it ventilated and it stays pretty cool in here. It's really cool in here. 
Um, and speaking of cool, uh, fit and finish. Yep. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that. Tell us a little bit about the interior. Yeah, so we use bamboo interiors. There's uh -huh. a, a few reasons why they're a sustainable material, mm -hmm. a green material, and they're very resilient to climate mm -hmm. conditions. So other wor other types of wood, um, if you get moisture in them in a humid climate, they'll start to expand and it contract. So bamboo is a really good material to prevent that. Yep. Um, and that works perfectly for our worldwide use of our uh, mm -hmm. units. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then I see granite and stainless steel and glass. Yep. So we got Corian countertops, stainless steel uh, sink, uh, dual induction cooktops. So, you know, high end components mm -hmm. to really have that comfort while you're out and about. And you mentioned you didn't want to get anything dirty in here. Right. It's, it's built rugged as well for that, right. for that use. So. <laughs> Um, these cushions have, you know, they've been through the show all weekend and they're holding up great yep. kids climbing over them. And <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, tell me a little bit about power management for yep. this, for this unit. Yeah. So we run a lithium, uh, battery bank in here, 800 amp hours. Okay. That is expandable once you get into larger sizes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we run uh, 24 volt and 230 volt as our base. Yep. And then we have a U.S. spec electric for our U.S. customers. So it. the it comes with that base automatically, so for worldwide use. But then we do the U.S. spec on top of that, so you have your 12 volt, 110, so everything can be used. Got it. Um, and then solar, is that configurable? What do you typically do for solar? So it'll be dependent on the size of the unit. On this one, we're at 1.1 kilowatt, so we uh -huh. have four panels on the roof. Uh -huh. And it's fantastic for this yeah. size of vehicle. Between 800 amp hours and 1.1 yeah. kilowatt of solar, it's a yeah. very powerful system. Yeah, great. Um, uh, heating and cooling or any kind of climate uh, control. Tell yep. me about that. Um, so first and foremost, my favorite, electric floor heat. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic if you uh, get up in the middle of the night and, yep. and put your feet on the floor. It's uh, quite nice. Yep. Uh, we also have a diesel air heater mm -hmm. and we have an electric heater through the air conditioning system as well. So it's nice to have three types of heating systems yeah. for all types of conditions. You're hitting on a great point and that is redundancy for mm -hmm. this unit. Um, tell me about that. So Bliss Mobile really focuses on a reliable unit and mm -hmm. redundancy. So there's mm -hmm. backup systems for everything. Right. Even down to water sensors in the plumbing system that if mm -hmm. there is a leak sensed, it will turn the water pump off. Got it. Um, so they have a, a huge focus on the serviceability of the unit mm -hmm. and redundancy and reliability for world use. Summary of what we're looking at. Like, what do we have in here? All right. So we're sitting in the dinette area. Um, we got nice storage up above us. This also folds down into a bed. So mm -hmm. there's another sleeping area. Great. And then moving back, we have our kitchen uh, here, which in the larger units will actually get bigger as well. Mm -hmm. So there's more options in the kitchen area. And then also storage uh, along the sidewall there. And we do have multiple options for bath and shower. We have wet bath options and mm -hmm. also split. So dry bath and, and shower. Got it. And then in the back? Uh, in the back of this unit, the standard, we have a full-size bed. Mm -hmm. And again, as units get larger or smaller, that bed is configurable. So in some of the larger units, we have a king-size bed. Um, and then that bed height will also change with the garage unit that we have underneath of it. Mm -hmm. So with our larger units, that bed gets a little higher and we can actually store motorcycles or ATVs underneath the bed inside the unit. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna do it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Bring your toys. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think we should do the motorcycle rack. I think okay. that's a really cool feature. It's one of, my, one of my favorite features. This is our motorcycle carrier. I'm a big enduro rider, so this is right one of on. my fa favorite features of Bliss. Uh -huh. And it's also configurable. So currently we have it set up for one bike uh, motorcycle and two bicycles mountain bikes and we can also configure this for two motorcycles that has a thousand pound uh, carrying capacity okay so two dirt bikes or if you're the adventure bike guy you can carry your 1200 GS on the back and it's also able to carry an ATV on the back as well awesome <laughs> um, so one of the nice features about this whole assembly is everyone always asks how do you get the spare tire down right and obviously it's around a 300 pound unit. So getting it down from there is not gonna be an easy task. Right. So one of the nice features about this whole assembly 
is that spare tire comes down with the motorcycle rack cool. to a lower position and make it more manageable to get off. Can we take a look at it? Yeah, let's All right, run it down. It's easy as that. There you go. Right on. So from here, when we get uh, the bikes unloaded, let's say you're in a situation where you need the change of flat tires, yep. unload the bike, and then the spare tire is operated from a hand winch from here. Okay. Lowers it straight onto the rack, and then you can wheel it off the rack and uh, right on. to the side of the truck. And pro tip with the 300 pound tire, you're good as long as it doesn't fall over. <laughs> <laughs> then you gotta pick it up. Yep, yep. Keep it upright, that's Keep the it key. upright. <laughs> right on. Oh, and just a little detail that you mentioned is that this is a steel split rim, yep. so it's serviceable when you're out there. Yeah, yeah, correct. So this can be serviceable in the field. Let's say it's a tire that is not repairable, or it could be repairable, and you have a patch kit. You have to go on the You can yeah. split the rim, pull the tire off, uh, patch it inside, put it back on, air it back up, and continue on your way. So. Cool. Uh, another feature that I will mention about this is we can actually do dual spare tires on the back of this. Uh -huh. So a lot of the customers that are going way far back in African Safari, hundreds right. of miles away from anyone, it's a good idea to carry two spares just in case. Yeah, right on, great. And then I like that barbecue. Yeah. Is that just, is that an accessory? Is that, put whatever you want on there or tell me how that works. Yeah, let's check out the yeah. outdoor kitchen here. So this is one of the exterior options. We build all this in house other okay. than the appliances. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an induction cooktop here, sink with hot and cold water. And this is all connected to the connection box right on the side of the unit. So you have access yeah. to power, hot and cold water right there. We have a little uh, barbecue press here, makes great breakfast sandwiches and uh, <laughs> some storage as well in here. Very cool. What's no, awesome, that's awesome about this unit is when putting it away, it's as easy as folding it up. And it slides right into our storage unit. Packs away easily and you're ready to go. Yeah, that was like 15 seconds max. <laughs> that's awesome. It's, it's really cool the dynamic of customers we have because yeah. like you said, it's, it's everyone from weekend getaways to living full time and right. traveling the world. Very cool. Um, we have a German customer that's actually shipping his unit over to the US and he's, spend, he's spending six months to a year here doing Yukon, Alaska, the whole thing. So, right on. I mean, that's what it's all about. Yep. And uh, we just love providing a uh, sustainable unit that's comfortable and rugged. Yep for those travels. Right on. Spencer, thank you very much. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah.